Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel where we create apps using Flutter. Now we have made some good progress on our social media app so far. And now I want to show you how to change the theme from light mode to dark mode. And it's actually pretty easy to do. So let me show you by jumping into the code. So we left off in the last video making these comments. So check that out if you haven't. But to make the light mode and dark mode, I'm going to come to my library and create a new folder called themes. And let's create two files here. So the first one is light theme and also dark theme. So if you come to the dark theme, what we need is the theme data. So just to keep it simple, just to show you how the changes are being reflected. Let's just start by saying the brightness is dark. And let's do something similar for the light theme. But the brightness is going to be light. So let me show you change by change what each line is doing. Now, if you come to the main.dart file, you can see here that there's this theme option. So for this one, just give it your light theme. There's actually another option for dark theme. So we'll give our dark theme for this one. Now, if you save this, you can see some of our text widgets had changed colors. So if I just comment out this dark theme and I save it, you can see the texts are changing a little bit. So how do we actually make this apply to the whole app? So if you come back to our home page, which is what we're looking at right now, if you come to the UI, so the scaffold, you can see the background color. We actually hard coded this value in saying gray with a strength of 300, right? So whether that's light mode or dark mode, because we fixed this value, it's never going to change. So what you can do is we can now say theme of context, and then you can say the color scheme and then the background. And you can see the background color now changed. And so if you come back to our dark theme, we can specify the color scheme for the dark. And inside, you can set your black version. OK, so here I'm just going to make it completely black. But you can set a dark gray or, you know, whatever your choice is. So that's the background. Now let's turn our attention to the other widgets in our app. So you can think of it as a primary color, which I'm going to make it a very dark gray. And then we can also choose a secondary color, which I'm going to make slightly less gray. OK, so if I come to this component here, this one is the wall post, right? So let's go to that particular file. And let's find where we set the color. Yep, here it is. So you can see again, we hard coded this value. So now we can say theme of context, go to the color scheme and let's give it the primary color. And I don't know why that's purple. Let's actually restart the app. And there it is. So that's the color, the primary color that we specified here. So let's go to the individual comments now and give it the secondary color. Cool. And then if we restart this, this is looking, this is looking pretty good. So on a very high level, you have to specify this theme data and you can see the background, the primary and the secondary color is what you can specify. Let's continue on. Now I can see the first thing that's really white is this text field at the bottom. So let's go to that text field and change up this color. So I think the one we're going to look for here is the fill color. So let's change that to primary. And another thing is this border is very jarring, having a complete white. So the enabled border, I'm going to make that the secondary color. OK, so what that just did is you can see the border. If I select it, then it will become white. So you got the enabled border and the focus border. OK, so it's looking good. Now I want to make this much more cleaner. So you can see the app bar. I want to do something with the app bar. Now I can see here we hard coded this in again to say gray. So if I delete this and I come to my theme again, you can actually have an app bar theme. So let's say the background color, I'm just going to make it completely black. So it matches the background and cool. That's looking pretty good. Sweet. Now let's try the light theme. Now, if you didn't know on the iOS simulator, you can hit the feature tab at the top and you can hit this toggle appearance. So this will change it from light mode to dark mode. So on your Android or iOS phone, I've got my iOS phone right here. If you didn't know, you can actually swipe down 
and control the dark mode like system wide for the entire phone and so all of the native apps change appropriately so now our flutter app also will change according to the system wide setting and you can see the light it's all blue because that's the default colors so let's actually do something similar here as well so starting with the app bar theme i'm going to make it gray or actually maybe we can just make it transparent so that we can just see the background yep so you can see a little shadow there that's because we can make this elevation zero so if you were curious on how to change the icon and the, and the title we can specify the icon theme let's make it black and also the title text style here so whatever you want to customize you can customize on this file now it looks like the size of that is a bit small let's make it 20. Sweet, now the main thing here is the color scheme. So color scheme dot light and the background I want to make 300 gray and let's set the primary and the secondary color to our liking. Cool, and I think that looks pretty sleek. Sweet, now let's check some of these other pages. So the profile page, whoops, we forgot to change up this app bar. So I'm just going to get rid of this color. There we go. And let's just check it for the dark mode as well. Yep, this one should also have a background corresponding to our dark theme. There we go. And then the last thing is this text box. So let's get rid of all of these hard coded values that we don't want. And for this one, I think we can give it the primary. Yep. Cool, and that's how you code the light and dark mode. Now the mode will be automatically set according to the phone's system settings. So on Android and iOS, you can easily set the entire phone to be light or dark mode. And so now your Flutter app will also behave just like a native app and show the appropriate mode. By the way, if you have any idea on what I should implement next, please let me know in the comments below what functionality and features I should add to this social media app. So we've got the user profile, we've got the like button, we've got the comments, and there's so many things to go beyond that. So let me know what you want in the comments and let's continue to build this thing out. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.